Greetings, everyone. Ben Murray here with another edition of SAS Metro School. So today, talking about the timely close of your book. So what happens when you can't close your books timely? This is a problem. I see this often, and it just handcuffs our financial process. So my expectations with your monthly close process, closing your books out each month, whether, whether this is your in-house accounting team or outsourced bookkeeping team, which is very common in early stage SaaS, say under 10 million, most of the accounting that I see within SaaS companies are outsourced. And with outsourced accountants or bookkeepers, I expect that they can close the books about mid-month. So the 15th of every month is, I think, a very reasonable expectation to close those books. Now, when I was an in-house CFO, we always pushed for a five business day close, but we have those internal resources. We have the process, the checklists, checklist, the technology to get the books closed timely so we can continue our process. Because in accounting and finance, we have a very strict monthly routine. We close the books, then we do performance analysis. We calculate the metrics, the variance report, the headcount report, the booking reports, and then we create our forecast and then the metrics and numbers that come off our forecast process. And then we, we rinse and repeat that every month. So we need a nice, clean, good process each month. But if you can't close your books timely, if it takes a month, if it takes longer than a month, that really just completely stops the finance process, stops the financial analysis process, stops the metrics process. And really, there's it's hard to do things, hard to make good decisions because we don't have the latest data. Now we can continue the forecast. We can continue to forecast your business, but we still don't have that latest data because in finance, if fp a we always want that latest set of data to see how close we came with the forecast. Did we miss? Did we make? Were we spot on? Where do we have to adjust the forecast going forward? So I was always excited to see those books close. How close did I come to the forecast? What adjustments do I need to make? And that's why closing the books is timely. We can still forecast, but we're just going to, we're not going to be as accurate with the forecast because we don't have the latest data to see where we're making or missing the forecast. So again, 15 days, very reasonable. Let's beat that. If we have outsourced accounts, bookkeepers, if we're in-house, five business day close, and then we continue our financial process. So again, this, we are running financially blind if we just cannot close the books, if it's taking forever, or even if the, just those financials are so generic, we really can't do anything even if we are closed. So I do see this as a common thing happening, and we've just got to focus on that accounting process, on the accounting foundation, because that's where one of the four key SAS data pillars starts, and that's the accounting foundation yesterday's episode. I talked about the four mistakes when SAS find your accounting foundation. I think I have another episode about four key financial data sources that we need in our process. And again, that's accounting, financial data, HRIS data, customer revenue data, and HR, did I say that already? HRIS data, oh, and bookings data. So the four key data sources. So really important to close those books in a timely manner every month. Thanks.